Remember back in 1998 when uh, Gus Van Sant, Sant, whatever, remade Psycho shot for shot? What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here, bringing you a film review of Lion King 2019. Lion King uh, 2019, of course, stars uh, a bevy of people, man. You got your uh, Donald Glover, your Beyonce, Seth Rogen. There's just so many. There's so many. Why even go through the whole thing? But it's directed by John Favreau, of course, who did uh, Jungle Book, 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 Jungle Book, which I actually... Uh, Pretty much uh, really enjoyed, actually. I really enjoyed that movie. So I was kind of going, okay, let's see what they do here. And, of course, this is... I, I have no introduction. It's... You know the story. You know the story about Simba, Mufasa. Uh, Mufasa wants to teach his son, like, hey, eventually you'll be king. So prepare yourself. But, of course, Scar, Mufasa's brother, eh, he jealous, don't want that to happen. And then when it's stampede happens, guess what? Mufasa dead. Simba runs away. He gets banished. Scar takes over the kingdom. And then eventually he comes back and defeats Scar. We just know the story. And being that you knew the story and now you see it live action, you kind of go, wow, I should watch the animated version again. This movie didn't really do it for me, guys. It didn't. Uh, similar to Aladdin, I, I wasn't like, I, well, with Aladdin, I thought it was going to be a shit show. And I ended up being pleasantly surprised that it wasn't as bad. Uh, with this one, I just knew already pretty much what I expected I got, which was, oh, the visuals are absolutely stunning. What they did with the visuals is it's crazy, but guess what? They didn't need a fucking director. Nobody needed to direct this movie, okay? I'm sure John Favreau busted his ass. I get it, but at the same time, I'm going, did he really need to? Because it's a shot for shot, and it's all digital. It's not live action. There's always been that debate, too. That's why every time I would discuss it, I put quotes. You could have just had anybody just make the shots and put it together, shot for shot, this, that, and this, had the actors. You really didn't need a director. I mean, that's what sucks, because I like John Favreau as a director, all the way back, all the way back to Swingers. I mean, I'm all about his creative style, his directing voice, does not show here. It showed in Jungle Book. For some reason, Jungle Book really worked. And the visuals were stunning there. Probably because they had that one human character. I don't know. The animals seem... I don't know. It's very strange. But the biggest thing that, that plagues this one is the fact that you can't see the emotion like you did in the animated version. And I've said time and time again, I wasn't big on the animated Disney movies growing up. I mean, we had that section of the VHS tapes that had the big-ass Disney ones with the big plastic book pain in the ass trying to fit those with the rest of them right um no but i just never really got into them so that's why when it comes to these live actions it's kind of like you yeah you just can't hit me with nostalgia like when i'm at the the screenings i people are cheering and clapping like i do with the cape shit or other franchises but when it comes to disney it's like no okay now you gotta really can you impress me and this one just didn't impress me and somebody fucking tell beyonce she can't act i said it Okay, now I haven't seen Dream Girls, but I know Jennifer Hudson's the one that stole the show in that movie. But I saw it in Austin Powers, horrible. Her voice acting in here, horrible. I mean, she's just not a good actress. She just isn't. Beautiful voice, phenomenal performer, 100%. Acting? No. Even Donald Glover was just, eh. I mean, the ones that stole the show were, were uh, Rogan and Billy, what's his name? Billy on the Street Guy. Billy, I can never say his last name, and I'm not even seeing it right. Eckner? Eckner? Timon and uh, Pumbaa? I, I thought they were going to annoy me, but they were actually the scene stealers. I even liked uh, John Oliver as Zazu. I mean, I thought those ones were the ones that stood out. Everybody else was just kind of like, eh, whatever. So there you go, guys. Eh, it wasn't for me. I didn't. I wasn't feeling it. I walked out just like, eh, there it was. Visually stunning, everything, of course. 100% it's going to get visual effects awards and everything, and it deserves it. But I didn't feel like it was anything like there needed to be a director. It was just a retelling and a bunch of CGI shots. No emotion within the characters. And, yeah, just just wasn't for me. So there you go, guys. That is my review. Uh, I'm not going to put it on the wall because, yeah, it wasn't for me. Maybe it was for you. Let me know down below. Hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel. It's filmjunkie.com for all my content. Follow me on the sock meds over there. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and uh, yeah, Patreon if you want to help out and shirts like this one down below. All right, guys. Akuna Mafakantata. Talk to you later.